again, viewers. Um, this week, I'm working with Mr. Sam. We're going to look at some real profiles from internet dating sites and uh, critique them, essentially. Yep, uh, we'd like to give you some advice because over the years when we've internet dated, we've seen some pretty tragic cases out there. Mm. Now look, it's, it's not like it used to be 15 years ago where it was all freaks and geeks. Um, but as I have said previously, there was nothing wrong with dating geeks. My computer never ran faster and I knew what lag time was and I certainly knew who my base belonged to. But these days, um, it is a different world out there. There are normal people on there. Um, so how about trying to appear normal? That's a good first step. D don't, don't try too hard. Just, just, you know, normal is okay. Now, look, I'm looking at the first profile, and we just pulled these up randomly. The first one here has said, uh, that, well, for starters, their, their, their name means nothing. They've got a jumble of, of letters and a number. Mm. It's not easily easy to, uh, to remember. It's not one that's going to stick in your head. Try and go for things that are simple, clear. There's nothing wrong with having your first name. Mm. People aren't going to know who you are. But, yeah, something that people could... This, this one's like, hello. Like, what? Hello. It means nothing to me. So start with a nice, simple name that people will stick in their head and when they're looking for you again, can find you. Yeah, so something that, you know, might register with someone. As I say, if they remember it, that's the first good sign. Mm. Um, mine used to be a moniker, as in, it is a name. Of course, as soon as anyone tried to write me a letter saying, Dear Monica... I'd know that they didn't understand the pun and they were immediately bow bow. Nice. That's a, that's, a, that's a good code to put in. We, we were just discussing um, with Miss Angry because we did meet through internet dating, trying to rem it was so many years ago, trying to remember what our uh, profile names actually were. Uh, mine was There He Goes, which was a joke about a song by The Lars, yeah. There She Goes. And seriously, if someone got that, it's like, ah, okay, they're into some cool music. Nice one. Yeah, no. that's a good one. Uh, anyway, so that's, that's the first mistake I'm seeing on here. And then uh, in the About Me, they've written, this could be interesting, but hey, you only live once. I have seen something along those lines on pretty much every single profile when someone first puts one up. Get it, over it. It's the biggest cliche going. Mm. Um, hey, you only live once. Hmm. The next line, I'm completely new to the life of online dating and not really sure to what to expect. Seriously? D d oh, don't. <laughs> like, uh, everyone's new at some point, that's fine. Just mm. don't put it in your profile. Sit back, relax, look at it and work it out for yourself. Don't tell everyone you're a newbie, you don't need to. When you're contacting them, you can say, hi, um, you're one of the first people I've contacted, um, so go easy on me. But don't put it in your profile, it's not going to get you any more contacts. Yeah, it, it, it's not a positive, essentially. Mm. It just, it's just boring and we've read it a hundred times. Mm. Everyone's put it on there. And the worst thing is, when you don't update your profile, you've got it on there ten years after you started. So, stupid. Um, I try and make the most out of life and enjoy the challenge. Oh, bored already. I'm bored. In fact, I'm bored with this guy so far. Uh, there is nothing interesting here. They haven't, like most people when I'm not working, I love to head overseas and experience what the work, well, most people when they're working can't afford that, mate. But so yeah, you put in that you've got some money, that's good. Uh, but yeah, basically, there's no, con there's no photo, there's no clear name, and there's nothing that's grabbing me here. And look, I'm just going to point out, this person didn't put a photo on their profile. You know, worst mistake you can make. Uh, the, the response rate, even if you don't think you're the best looking person in the world, the response rate for photos is 10 to 100 times higher mm -hmm. than profiles with no photos. People assume you're the elephant man if you don't have a profile yeah. photo up. Simple as that. Or married. Yeah, yeah, that you're flying around and you don't want your photo out there on the internet. Yeah. It's just it's just a bad sign. You're married or ugly or both. So always use a photo. And, and uh, digital cameras, phones that take good pictures are so common and so cheap. Don't put shitty photos up. You look and you say, oh, particularly one where you've, you've, you've cut out the person next to you. Oh, so yeah. it's, a, it's clearly a picture of you with your ex, okay? Yeah. That makes you look crazy. That's my favourite. What was worse was way back before you could edit easily with them, mm. they used to have photos of them and their ex and they'd have texted over the ex mm. and then scanned in. No people. But yeah, also, I hate this photo. 
mm. in the mirror with the th get your friend to take the photo it's it's not hard what again when i first started internet dating you had to be a bit more cutting edge to have good photos on there you needed to have a scanner or mm. digital cameras weren't that common but seriously you know it's so easy to get a decent photo on there don't put a crap photo. Don't make it out of focus with a flash gone off in your face. No, no, no. Just get a decent photo. And, um, yeah, don't put an out-of-date one on. Don't put one where you're 10 years younger or 10 pounds uh, lighter or heavier. People like what they like. There's someone for everyone. Be honest. Put an honest photo up because when they go to meet you for that coffee, remember we said only for a coffee, not for drinks, not for dinner, just for a quick coffee for the first meet, they're just going to walk out of the cafe. Because believe me, I've done it. I will not go and sit down with somebody who has lied to me about their photo. Yeah, and you can go on all you like about, oh, they're shallow, judging like that. No, no, you lied. Mm. So don't. Don't start things off with a lie. I have a particular taste in men that is not everyone else's. I happen to like super skinny, super geeky looking guys with floppy fringes. If you've put a photo up where you look like that and then you turn up and you're a buff, tanned, muscular surfer, which is to a lot of girls' taste, I'm not interested. So do you understand? It's not shallow, it's what I like. And so put up who you are so the people who like you can find you. <laughs>